I've always kind of wanted to row across the ocean and I asked a mutual friend would he row across and he's like absolutely not but I know three lads who are tapped down in Cork who want to do it. I'm Tommy Brown. Pat O'Connor. My name's Owen O'Farrell. So my name's Sean Underwood. I started rowing when I was about 12 or 13 in secondary school. Around about that time my uncle gave me a book about two people who rowed across the, the Atlantic. One of the fellows was Irish. I thought, you know what, I'm going to do that one day. And I don't think there's really a good time to ever row across the Atlantic. So I thought, let's go for it now. So I rounded up the lads. About three years ago, New Year's night, he asked me to row the Atlantic. Uh, I won't lie, I had a couple of beers on my... Sean was like, Pat, do you want to row the Atlantic with me? And I was like, oh, Sean, I'm not a rower. And he says, ah, no, you don't have to worry about that. It's not until 2017. And I was like, oh, but Sean, I can't swim. And he's like, ah, but you look, there's loads of time to learn how to swim. We're all trying to get along with each other as, as well as we can. It's a tight spot. It's only a 28 foot boat, two tiny little cabins. A lot of the food comes in these freeze dried packets. So like a thousand calorie meal that you rehydrate with the water that you, you make on board. We're doing this for two charities. The CUH Pediatric Unit, uh, the CUH Charity. The current facilities they have wouldn't be exactly top notch. The staff do just great and they see all these patients and treat them with amazing care, but they could certainly do with a better building, some better facilities. The other charity, Pieta House, is just for depression and suicide in Ireland, and it's something very close to, to my heart. Uh, something I've struggled with, something uh, I know a lot of people else have struggled with, and it's, uh, I guess it's kind of fitting that you're alone in a boat in the middle of an ocean, which is sometimes what depression feels like. So if you want to donate, you can find us online at www.relentless.ie and we have a GoFundMe page up on there. We don't have an engine, but everything else is fairly high tech on board. My biggest fear in doing this row is not finishing. Pascal Sheehy, Artie News. <laughs> <laughs>